So what time did you wake up this morning? Um, I woke up at 8.30 oh, or 8.15. Oh my god, so you slept in? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, you slept in? 8.30? That's pretty late. No, it's not. Do you, you wanna know what time I woke up? What time did you wake up? Four o'clock. Why? Because I'm very productive and successful. You don't. You did not wake only up at four o'clock. Only successful people wake up at four o'clock Show me proof that you woke up at four o'clock. You want proof? Yeah. Okay. God. I'm gonna do something really stupid this week. This week I'm going to be waking up at four o'clock in the morning every day for seven days just to see if I could do it. I've seen a lot of different like celebrities and people on TikTok wake up at four o'clock in the morning and they seem very productive and they seem very successful because there's just, they have more time to do like their own stuff and get focused. We're just gonna see, we're gonna just try it out. This might be one of the first challenges I actually really fail. So I will see you in the morning. What time is it? We're already getting a really late start on this. Challenge. I'm gonna get like no sleep tonight, but anything for the vid. Okay, good night. Oh my god. <sighs> wow, I just, I feel like I'm sleeping. Mm. I don't wanna go back to bed, but I can't. For the first day of waking up at four o'clock in the morning, I've actually had a great day. I rode the train up four hours to Santa Barbara. The train is. I had a little adventure around town just reminiscing on the old times of my one year at college before I got kicked out, which that video should already be posted. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. But so far, so good. I figured I would have crashed by now, but it hasn't happened yet, but I'm just gonna keep pushing. Oh, it's bright. Oh my God, I can barely open my eyeballs. Oh my God, I'm actually, I cannot see. Okay, the whole point of us doing this four o'clock in the morning challenge is to, you know, be more productive. Let's get ready for a run. I just spent the last 45 minutes looking for my AirPods and I couldn't find them. So now, we're going old school, baby. Also, I'm so painfully a beginner runner, but I still just get so excited about buying like the gear. Look at these glasses. You see me on the streets, you think, hey, that girl's a runner. Okay, let's go on a run. Oh my God. When am I gonna reach the point where running is actually fun? <laughs> Two and a half miles in, that's my halfway point. All right, gotta get back to it. I'm just gonna let here a while. Oh man. Sleep will come later tonight, but first, we gotta be social. We gotta go hang out with people. So let's go to my friend's house and see where the day takes us. Oh, wait, I bought something cool off of Amazon. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. So I'm a really big fan of Harry Potter and I bought a magic wand. This isn't just any magic wand. This is a real magic wand and it shoots flames and fires. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it'll work. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to swat it and then the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, Lexi's gonna give it a try. Expecto Patronum! Ah! <laughs> Expelliarmus! Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Let's try it in Dom's mouth now. No, no, no. I'm on a good off rock! Oh! Come on, Dom, say something cool. Say something cool. Uh, I don't know any spells. Make up one. Rotisserie chicken! Oh, oh! Stop! Oh. Oh. Yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> this is agonizing. Oh man. Okay, so because it's so early, I feel like no one's awake at this hour. Which means that it's gonna feel like I'm the only person on the planet. And so I wanna take a little stroll. I wanna drive down the streets and see how many people are actually awake and out in the real world at the moment. So I'm gonna put on some pants and do that. I'm wondering if this challenge is gonna get any easier for me. <laughs> Oh, it's so dark. Oh God, this is weird. It's literally still dark. Oh, look at this. We've got someone on the road. Hello, sir. Good morning. Another productive fellow like myself. There is literally no one on the road at all. It's just me. What is the one thing you should do when you are absolutely so exhausted that you could collapse at any point in time without question and sleep for the rest of time? You should walk miles and miles and miles at the happiest place on earth. Disneyland. Here's some information. <clears throat> As I was saying, Disneyland. And we don't say no to Disneyland no matter how exhausted we are. Let's go to Disney. I have not even been at Disneyland for more than 15 minutes and I've already got a giant matcha 
and an Iron Man shirt. <laughs> this is living. Royal Street Veranda, best spot for the clam chowder bread bowls. If you look really close at that steamboat behind me, you'll see a hidden Mickey on the front bow. Once you see it, you can never unsee it. <laughs> Here's a little known fact. Walt Disney actually wanted to really play with perspective, and so what he did when building Disneyland is he made the windows up on top way smaller to just help with our perception. You see that little line on up there? That used to be Walt Disney's old office. And this right here is the greatest spot to view the fireworks. It's just a great way to avoid the crowds. Okay, the one thing I've really been wanting to see this entire challenge, something I never get a chance to see, is a sunrise. Why did I say that so weird? Sunrise. So let's head on over to the beach. So the sunrise already happened. Actually, it's happening at the moment. Because we are on the west coast, it's just gonna look like this for quite some time. There's no like sun that pops out or anything, because that's actually, that would be over on that side. So, um, but still, such a vibe. The only thing that would make this morning better is a matcha. But I don't feel like getting that today, and I also forgot my wallet at home, so not today. But maybe tomorrow. Oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful. You guys, this camera doesn't even do it justice. This is just, wow. Good morning, sir. And that, my friends, is how you set yourself up for a fantastic day. <sighs> really quick, look at how good this looks. It's chicken and pineapple and avocado and asparagus because we're healthy queens. I'm about to go to a Porsche experience, which means I get to race cars, go on a track. I don't know what else. At this point in my life, we're just always saying, screw it, let's do it. So I am gonna finish eating this and we are gonna get on our... Wait. We're here in the Porsche driving experience, and I think I just saw my husband walk by. Imagine I say that I'm at the love of my life at the Porsche driving experience, celebrating Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I think that's really, really romantic. I'm about to go drive on a racetrack really, really fast, or be a passenger princess if that guy decides to be my driver today. Oh my God, I haven't even been here for 30 seconds, and they're already putting me behind the wheel of a very expensive car. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take it slow, and I'm just gonna pace myself, and <laughs> I may have peed myself, but we're not gonna talk about it. Are right, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, these cars are pretty fast. They also break. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. You guys already know what time it is. It's matcha time. She made her little matcha. She's not lazy anymore. This morning routine has changed her completely. She did it herself. She did it with love and affection. And affection and care for the matcha and it is just mm mm mm. <laughs> So oh good. You guys, I may have just done something either really stupid or really freaking awesome, and I can't tell. I just bought every single seat in a movie theater. <sighs> Why? Because what else are you gonna do on a Wednesday night? I could totally be using my money better elsewhere, but I was like, you know what, no. I'm gonna buy a movie theater for all of my friends to enjoy. How fun is that? Let's go to the movie, because it's gonna start pretty soon. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> guys, we are fitted up. Let's see what mom looks like. <laughs> mom, you look so funny. Ninja Turtles assemble. Hey, he dies in the end! Hey! Shut up! Okay. I don't think this challenge is getting any easier. I think this is the stupidest challenge I've ever done. Only because I feel like I'm not a morning person. You're either a morning person or you're not. I'ma I'm a just sleep from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. If that's cool with y'all. That's my type of, that's my type of day. I'm a, I'm a midday person. I'm a midday person. I also do believe that this video is slowly making me crazier and crazier. All right, this might be a very dumb decision. I am making the executive decision to go out tonight. Sure. Pearson, that's probably not smart. If you wanna wake up as early as four o'clock in the morning, guess what? I've already proved to myself that I can do it. We've gotten this far. You know what, I'm gonna be in bed by 11.30 tonight. Mark my word. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Guess what on the truck, guys? Go! 
truckers, what are the truckers? I don't know why I have this much energy. It doesn't make any sense. It is currently 3.57 in the morning. Whatever time that I said that I was gonna be home tonight, uh, it's safe to say I missed it by <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. We are almost waking up at four o'clock in the morning. Technically, we're not waking up, but we are staying up till four o'clock in the morning. So technically, when that clock hits 4.01, I'm done with this challenge, okay? I've been awake at four o'clock every day for the last seven days. And guess what homegirl's gonna do right now? Take one single guess, that's right. Sleep till the end of time. I think I've come to the conclusion that I am not a morning person. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna continue to try. Well, I guess I will see you guys the next time I decide to put myself through another agonizing challenge. I'm about to slam dunk into this bed right now. Okay, good night. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that no! Let's run! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know no more playing with fire. Don't play with fire at kids' home. Wait, don't, <laughs> don't play with fire at home, kids. Pierce